Hello there everyone, Gabe the Builder here with a new video. So as you are aware, when the Book of Boba Fett was airing, I did a few mocks to coincide with it. I did the Navarro and the Cobb Vance Speeder because of the Mandalorian. And for um, Moon Knight, I've decided to do custom figures. Now, I'm probably going to be doing some more for other shows just because... I really enjoy doing these sort of custom things, um, but yeah, in this video we're going to show my custom figures, um, and just kind of talk about the show. I put the figures on this crescent moon base, um, I mean, kind of looks like one, it also kind of looks like a bird, but I think it works fine enough. Uh, the main struggle was to get them all to fit on without making it too big because I don't have a lot of white and white um white modified bricks with studs so I'm going to go through them all and kind of give you my opinion on them as a character and what parts I used so yeah we will start with the main guy himself Moon Knight uh so I used the head from Zane, I used the one in the Sherry Copter, but any season 11 one works. Underneath, skeleton head, only white head I have. The torso, I used um, Ray's episode 9 torso, inverted, uh, backwards. So that's why I said inverted, I guess. Um, so there's the front side. And although you can see skin, something that was not intentional was when you put on the cowl, it gets covered up, and that happened completely on accident. But as Bob Ross says, there are uh, no mistakes, just happy accidents. The belt, not ideal. Um, I switched out her arms. They were just regular light, light nougat arms, but I switched them out for white ones with black hands. For his crescent moon throwy thingies, I used um, the curved piece from Ninjago that comes in a big bag of weapons. I used the neon ones from Prime Empire, uh, painted white. Um, and I realized and saw the episode. I, uh, okay, I built this guy and Mr. Knight the day before. And then I built the rest of them the day it came out after I watched it. So, yes, I built this. I saw, like, a poster. It looked white, so I'm like, sure, you know. And that's what Action Flash did in his thumbnail for, like, next we need or something. And I thought, yeah, it works. And then I kind of, even though I didn't do it perfectly, I'm like, yeah, not, no, no. It looks like it, it's scratched up or covered in alien blood. Um, so, you know, it was fine. Then I realized that after watching it, not watching it, but just seeing some more photos. Um, well, I realized that it was gold. I have the piece in gold. I got it in um, the set with Cold's, Cold's Dirt Bike. Uh, another one from this wave. So, oh. Um, so, yeah. I only have them on there for this video. Then I'm going to nail polish remove them or something. Because I can. For the legs, I used the Farm Boy Luke ones. Uh, both these, um, the legs and uh, torso I got from the Advent Calendar Star Wars, I think, 20, 2020, because well, I'm not sure when, but they were in Advent Calendars, and that's how I got them. So overall, I'd say it's pretty nice. I will be doing a video later on making... One, this is just for my collection, but I know ways to improve it, and I plan on doing it. One more thing, if you do want to have them white instead of gold for whatever reason, you can find them in white in the Keeper's Village. Maybe another set, but I just know in the Keeper's Village. Uh, so yeah, on to the next one. If we were going to do Moon Knight, I thought it obvious to make a do mark next. Now, as you may notice, he does not have a head. Well, I only have one Poe Dameron head, also from the admin calendar. I can say for certain that's the 2021. And I switched them out, and I just think 
is kind of cool because like only one can be in the body at the same time. So I have I have Steven normally with the happy face. He's the mad for I like I said those top head and hair advent calendar. I just took some random Star Wars gun. Um, his torso it's Emperor Palpatine's from the. Uh, Darth Vader's transformation, I'd say it works pretty well. This outfit is based on the end of episode one. It's like his kind of date outfit. Right there, he's got the scarab. Uh, I use the shuriken piece um, where it comes in the pack of three. Um, and then you have two shurikens and that thing in the middle. It's the thing in the middle. The legs, the Gallert Grindelwald from the carriage, the Thestral carriage. I'd say it matches, and I kind of wanted to do something a bit more custom. I also switched out the hands because Palpatine's hands would have been tan or something. Uh, so I'd say he looks pretty nice. The accessories, I have a whole bunch of accessories I wanted to do, and it just worked out that um, I had considered him with the gun because just like that's that was an important scene for me from episode one in the trailers. And it just fit with him and then the Scarab, of course, because Steven wasn't trying to steal the Scarab. It was him. And then the next is Mark. So I'm getting his head. And also on the stand, I gave him three accessories because over here you've got um, a set or whatever those are called, those old record things. Um, I... I don't know why I used that, but, well, I know, for me, it was to represent the, um, staying awake thing, but I'm sure he was just using a phone, but, okay, head and hair, yeah, you know, the torso, it's the Harry Potter one from In Aragog's Lair, I have two of that set, so it kind of worked, and then for the legs, it is the J legs from the Ninjago, uh, Ninjago movie series. So accessories, I gave him his goldfish. Uh, it's just um, a water bottle top piece or stamp piece, um, a dome piece, and then uh, this, I, it's inverted bumper or something with a fire piece inside. Now I do have an actual orange fish, but I kind of want to recreate the um, poster where he was in the blender so i'd say it works out pretty nice his other accessory it is a rubik's cube for also from the how to stay awake thing i'd say he turned out good but my only thing i would improve is i kind of i don't think he's just had a straight normal smile i think that steven he was always kind of preoccupied and a bit not there in the head he just looks like a normal guy here if Lego makes one, I hope they don't reuse the face because it, I don't think at least the happy one works for Steven. But next is Mr. Knight. So I made this without even seeing the legs, without seeing him with the batons. I'll explain that in a sec. Head, it's the Ninjago movie wrap uh, for Zane, uh, skeleton face. And then I used the Nick Fury uh, Captain Marvel torso white arms, white hands, and then the batons. So let me explain this. I saw one photo with the batons on that Tuesday before it. I'd even seen it. <laughs> I I thought it was a staff, and I'm like, I gave him one. Why don't I give him two? End up, he needed two. And then the Princess Leia legs from the Hoth set, uh, Luke's medical chamber. I'd say he turned out pretty nice. Um, he doesn't have a white tie, and he's got all those straps, but I mean, <laughs> this is the only white suit I had or anything close to it, or else he would have been a firefighter, and I think the tie is the most important part. But now, on to our last figure. This is the character represented by Ethan Hawke, uh, Arthur Harrow. I had that written down. I'd say he looks pretty nice. Uh, the hair, it's old Luke. The face... It's from my first ever uh, license set. I used to always get only get creator sets. This is the first one that wasn't. It's from the the Kryptonite ambush set from Batman v Superman. I didn't know what it is. I couldn't build it. Uh, but yeah, this is 
my first flesh face, and it just seemed to work perfectly. It was one of the uh, goons, Lex Corp. I'd say it looks good on this face on the back. It's an angry one, and you don't really see him angry like this. It's just, like, frustrated. He always seems to be calm, which is why I think the front works so good. Um, the torso, it is from the 2021 Sports Car City set. Works pretty nice. I mean, it's not completely shut, and you can see a bit of yellow, but I think it, it looks fine. Uh, I switched out his hands for flesh and then just regular reddish or dark red legs. His staff is the knife piece that comes in the pack of two, not in the small bags. Um, stud with a hole in it. A lightsaber piece. Um, hockey. Um, the hockey thing, you don't need that, but I just think it looks nice. If Probably not accurate. Um, and then another one of, what did I call them? The stamp pieces. And then I didn't have this originally, but I did think that after scene episode two, you should have some sort of purple thing there. But I'd say this figure just looks really cool when you combine the staff and all the different parts. He looks really nice and... Yeah, now let me put them back on the stand. But before I do that, I thought I'd give you a closer look with it off. So when I had the record thing, here it is. I just have it clipped on the side because I don't have any more jumper. Um, modified bricks. You've got two places here. I like to put um, the... I like to put... Um, I like... I put Mark here, the Knights... And then, what's his name? This guy. And then, uh, Steven, just because they're, they're kind of like talking in episode two. I built this. So my people, one last thing I forgot to say is if you've got the hands of a five-year-old, you can use this base as the Moon Knight claw thingy thingy. And you can stab anyone you don't like. Get off my show. Yo! Whoa! You've been knighted. And, uh, so I have Mark in the back just because he doesn't have a head. And it, he's kind of covered up, but then you can still kind of see him through the middle. So I think it works. Now, what are my thoughts on Moon Knight? I love it. Uh, the characters, the one of my favorite parts was in episode one. The whole chase scene, getting the scarab. Now, I think we should have had more of that. Is it real? Is it not? Um, like, right now, you, you, you know it's real. I mean, with the jackal fight in episode 2, you see, th you see that it's causing damage. You see that Layla can kill. I think that's her name. That Layla can hurt him. And it, I think they should have gone more of that. I, I feel like you can only do that in season 1, and you could have done this more now in the later but they're also only supposed to do one season so i i think it's great but i just that's something that was put in my head uh nando v movies I, check him out he did a video about phase four marvel projects and how they should go and i completely agree with what he said and how it could have been that cool no it is still really cool i love all the characters you still see steven it's just from an outside perspective, not an inner, like, is this man okay? You know he, it, You know what's going on now in episode two, but everyone else doesn't, so I think it works. Um, I, a, a thing I really do like is, is, St is Mark the hero? Is Moon Knight the good guy? Because Arthur... He believes that you should kill people before they hurt people. But, Moon Knight, his methods, they seem to be, they seem to be a bit more brutal. It's not like, he'll, what did they say? They like, zip tied them up, shot them. That's interesting. You don't, you don't know if he's a good guy until like, the end of episode two. But even then... When he's smashing the glass, you, you really don't know. It couldn't go either way. Now, it's leaning towards good guy, and 
Marvel did a video on Ask Marvel on their YouTube channel the other day saying he is. But I still honestly don't know. It could go either way. They could say, oh, no, just be for whatever reason. And it's secretly that he's not doing the good thing or it's some wrong reason. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on Moon Knight. Uh, so here's my review. Uh, you're going to want... I kind of teased you about it in the a video I filmed before this, but it's coming out on Saturday, and it, it's just a big confusing mess. There will be a video about that, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about Moon Knight. What do you think about these figures? Is there anyone else I should make? Any, any changes you would make? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.